Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and today we're going to be working on an art journal page. Today I decided to do some testing of the Deco Art uh, Napkin Deco Posh Glue. It's the first time I've tried this glue. I do want to apologize ahead of time for maybe some of the background noise that you might be hearing. Um, and to do this I'm going to be firstly uh, prepping my page because what I use is an art journal. Um, well, this art journal specifically is actually a sketchbook, so I definitely have to prep my page. So to do that, I am using uh, Deco Arts Gesso, and this is the decoupage uh, that is designed specifically for napkins, and I'm choosing some napkins that I'm going to be using. And I decided on this beautiful napkin, uh, which has some uh, little coffee cups or tea cups, you know, it depends on what you put in them, <laughs> and also uh, these other two beautiful uh, napkins as well. These napkins were all uh, friend mail uh, from my lovely friends here on YouTube. So thank you so much uh, for sending these beautiful napkins to me. And um, I'm going to be trying a couple different items with this glue. I wanted to see just the versatility of it because it is a little bit on the thinner side. Um, so I was very intrigued to see exactly what it can glue down and what it cannot. Um, but I stuck to ma mainly um, the napkin, some paper, and also some uh ribbon that I'm going to be gluing onto this page so I've decided on the layout that I'm going to be using for this and now here I am applying some of that uh, decoupage glue to the page So um, now that I've gotten uh, some of my pieces down, I'm going to continue to glue down the rest of the pieces. And uh, in the meanwhile, I will have uh, some music playing in the background for you guys because I do have some construction going on across the street and I don't think um, it's going to allow me to do um, a lot of voiceover for this video, unfortunately. Um, but yes, you guys, I'm going to be decoupaging uh, all of these napkins and I'm also going to go ahead and uh, you know decoupage the rest of the napkins as well and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm on the next uh, step After I've um, added the final bits of uh, the tissue background, I'm also going to be incorporating and collaging in um, some scraps of paper uh, that I also have in this in my stash. Um, pretty much I'm just going to rip up some of these pieces and also go ahead and adhere these to the page as well. After I've done this part, I'm also going to be incorporating um, some black ribbon uh, here and there. And I'm also going to be incorporating uh, some dictionary paper that I have already um, pretty much distressed uh, at an earlier time.
now as like I said before I was testing out uh, some of these uh, you know different materials and stuff when it came to the ribbon itself it didn't glue down all the way so I did kind of have to go back into it and just um, reinforce it with some regular glue um, but it did hold down uh, the different weights of the paper very very nicely and it also did a beautiful job with uh, the napkins themselves uh, I really do like this blue a lot for that now I'm going to be doing some stenciling on this page and I'm using a deco art stencil um, which is called um, brocade and, ber and berry borders um, and I will have item numbers for you down below if you're interested I'm going to be using some gold uh, deco art dazzling metallics uh, in splendid gold um, just to add a little bit of gold sparkle here and there even though this color itself will not be showing through too too much I just wanted to add a little bit of gold here and there um, you can definitely see it when you see it up close but unfortunately it won't capture it too too well um, just because of the overwhelming color yellow <laughs> in the background itself and now I'm gonna go um, into it just to display some of the stenciling with um, some gesso so just adding a few pieces here and there of the gesso Okay, so now I'm going to be incorporating um, some gel stains around the border of the page. And I really do love uh, this this product. Um, it's very translucent, but it adds the very the perfect um, shade of like vintage and uh, a little bit of dark to the page. So I'm going to be adding this throughout the page, and then the rest of the things is just adding a little bit of embellishing here and there. And again, I do apologize for the background noise. So I'm just going to let you guys hear out the rest of the music. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And thanks so much for watching.